Six Link Inheritance by Malana Jumar is. So today, gonna discuss to you about the Six Link Inheritance. It is a six link diseases that are passed down through families through one of the X or Y chromosomes, where X and Y chromosomes indicates as the six chromosomes. So now let us proceed to the dominant inheritance. It is occur when an abnormal gene from one parent causes disease. Even though the matching gene from the other parent is normal, the abnormal gene dominates. So let us look at the picture by the X-linked dominant inheritance, where the father is unaffected and the mother is affected. Two of them are could possibly be unaffected and two of them can be affected. They can share both their genes from their son or daughter. So this is also another example of dominant inheritance but in recessive inheritance both matching genes must be abnormal to cause disease if only one gene in the pair is abnormal the disease does not occur or it is mild someone who has one of abnormal gene but no symptoms is called a carrier carriers can pass abnormal genes to their children so come let us take a look the picture by the x link recessive inheritance where the father is unaffected 100% and the mother is a car carrier of the disease. So we can see that two of their child is unaffected and one of them is a carrier and also there is also one affected son. Affected or a carrier child is mostly called a hemophilia. It is usually an inherited bleeding disorder in which the blood does not clot properly. So how can we determine if a child is no hemophilia or having a hemophilia? So before that, we need to identify first the alleles. X big H and X big H serve as the homozygous dominant. And X big H and X small H indicates as heterozygous. So, to determine if a child is no hemophilia or having a hemophilia, we need to define the genes of their parents. So, if we can see the picture, the father is X big H and Y. While the mother is X big H and X big and small H. To determine their offspring, we need to use a Fanet square. By crossing the genes of their parents, we can identify the, their offspring. If it is an affected carrier or affected. So the genotype of their offspring is 1 is to 1 is to 1 and is to 1. While the phenotype phenotypic ratio is 75% no hemophilia and 25% hemophilia. We can also write it as a 3 is to 1 ratio.